Doreen Paul. Doreen, please come. Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who didn't know, that was news talent. <laughs> My name is Doreen Paul. Um, I live in New York. I am one of Aunt Nilma's nieces. I am going to attempt to uh, bring to you a little bit of what we felt as a family. Some of it is my own, but uh, other parts, what we felt as a family, how we felt towards Aunt Nilma. I stand here to pay tribute to our Aunt Nilma. She was the last of my mother's siblings, last female of my mother's siblings, and the only one to be blessed to make 100 years. Mm. Mm. Amen. 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 When on September 9th, I heard that Aunt Newman passed, I was in Europe, we were visiting with our son. My first thoughts were purely selfish. Oh, she couldn't wait till I come back. <laughs> because indeed, it was our intention to be there for the 100th. But we knew that she was weak. We had been in communication and we figured, at least I figured, <coughs> let the family, the children, be around her for that and then we can go later on. But she didn't wait. I felt I needed to see her face, to enjoy her smile, and to give her a last hug. After collecting myself, I went into a long period of reflection on the Williams women and on their only brother that we knew, our Uncle Dean. I thought about them more. And in specific for Aunt Naomi, that Aunt Naomi was a strong Williams woman. Just think, 11 children, all live births, and all made it into adulthood. Yeah. Part of it my sisters might not like, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Aunt Naomi was willing to share her early dinners with me. Early, early, early. <laughs> now in the district, we have Aunt Luke. The, it was, the Williams women are kind of strange because these were women who brought the men to their district. <laughs> they didn't move out. The men came to New York. I, 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 I think I need to research this actually. <laughs> kind of interesting phenomenon. However, Aunt Lou lived on her way from school. It was first Aunt Lou and Mammy, and then our house, and then Aunt Naomi down the corner. So I'd get home from school. Run, running home. You had your lunch because mother prepared your lunch and you had lunch at school. But you went home and you had mother's lunch that she left from her lunch. Right? You ate that quite quickly. I mean, because then you're going down to Aunt Nomi. Because Aunt Nomi had dinner. And she was sharing dinner. Yeah. At least with me, my sister. Me. Right? I own that dinner business. <laughs> Aunt Naomi was warm and giving, was what I said. Aunt Naomi was stoic. And the fact that she went to England didn't help the stoicism business. She only got more stoic, right? Yes, dear, <laughs> was her standard way, right? And was her standard way of expressing her thoughts, especially, I believe, <clears throat> but she really didn't agree. <laughs> but, 
that was born, right? She, she knew what she wanted. Aunt Naomi loved her children to death, literally. Think of their care for her in her waning years. Love begets love. And we all know how that went down. Each one in his or her own way. My Aunt Naomi was loved and showed love. But I wanted to ask her about her proudest moments and to share her deepest regrets. But that was not to be. I said up front that she was stoic. She didn't want to share them with me. So she said her goodbyes to her children. She, had her, she went away in the presence of her children. And she went home. Mm. We love you, Aunt Naomi. May you have a happy reunion with your love, brother boys. Mm -hmm. yes. And with your sister, including my mama, eh? Mm -hmm. We knew how you all got along. We promise, because we know the kind of person that you were, the proper thing, right? We promise to hold the fort mm with dignity and with love. Rest in perfect peace Hallelujah. as we hold you in all our memories. Amen. 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 Amen.